Wait a second, is that ultimate armor and VF getting total levels? Something is going on here, why are you not PBMing? Wait, fishing too? Okay, tell me what's going on. It is 2019 and that means new goals. Late Happy New Year's, lovely people. But yes, I decided to go for max and uh, I made a solid plan to get there. So let's get into some details. We uh, we got the farming uh, run runs down, we got the cape, we got everything to do farming runs now. Um, yeah, I'm going for max and I'm currently 2131 total. So we do have quite a bit of total. We got some pretty high stats, uh, some of the di more difficult skills. We have a decent level in as well. Some really easy ones like fishing, not the highest, um, but I'm actually going to change that right now because I'm going to buy, well, 150,000 feathers now and use all of them up. Gonna three tick fish because it saves a lot of time. Uh, and I can get a part of my agility levels because that's also a fairly low stat still, so. Fishing 99 first, get a part of agility, and after that I think I'm going to finish up Hunter and Thieving, because those are pretty fast to get, and well, they're already 94 plus, so that's the plan. I made this decision because I have been PVMing for the last year, over a year. Um, we finished all the, well, most of the high level PVMing goals that I had in mind. Uh, and I only really have raids one and two left. And now I really enjoy them. Don't get me wrong. Nothing wrong about that, about that content. But it's just so RNG based. Like I could spend up, I could spend another like half a year raiding and only get like one or two items that I need, you know. And the chance to get a Tebow, it's super RNG based stuff. Um, and I mean, before I before I got the Inferno Cape, we were like constantly grinding specific items, uh, quick items to get. And I had concrete goals to work on. And now it's kind of like, since I've got an Inferno Cape, I've just been sitting at raids, collecting some supplies, sometimes using the supplies, but I never, I don't really have like specific goals anymore now. So I want to change that up. And I think the maxing grind is really going to change that. Uh, I can do a series about this on YouTube. I can, you know, finish off 99s and there's no RNG involved, which will be nice because I always do RNG goals and well, it's time for a change. So I will still go back to raids most likely. Like I will probably take some breaks in between, maybe do some PVMing. I'm also gonna uh, do Hydra in January that comes out. I already have 95 uh, Slayer for that. So we are gonna be able to kill that. So that's nice. I'm really curious about the drop table too. So, um, but yeah, we, we are still going to PVM, but not as much anymore and take some breaks basically. And uh, uh, Rage 1 is also really nice for 99 Herbler. I'm currently 91. I have a shitload of seeds. Like I got 500 Toad Flex seeds left. So that's also a lot of XP. And I got some, some, some noted unfinished potions as well. So we do have quite a bit of Herbler XP, which is nice. Um, but yeah, Rage is like between 10 and 12k Herb XP per raid on average. So that's actually really good. So if I... If I go for 99 Herbler. Uh, in a later stage, I might just end up doing raids, but I'm not sure yet. Uh so yeah, I hope you guys are excited. I always said if I do YouTube and streaming full time, I will have the time to max uh, and, and now is the perfect time. I have the time to max now and go for this goal. So I'm going to grind my ass off and get on a total level grind. So as I mentioned before, I'm going to start with 99 fishing. Uh, I'm going to three tick fish and I, I will be done with this. Uh, in a couple of days actually which gives me time to prepare for the hydra hype after this is done i'm going for 99 thieving uh, i'm already 94 right now and i plan on finishing this with pyramid plunder uh, and do some massive farmers when afking for seeds i'm currently doing farm runs and birdhouse runs every hour uh, and this way i will finish 97 to 99 hunt to grind passively uh, while over time getting 500k urbux speed from the nests which is amazing while doing these grinds, I'm going to finish my woodcutting and fletching grind on the Kramja account uh, while getting up the Slayer level with the XP lamps. Next up will be Agility and I can really easily combine this grind with the melee grind on the uh, Kramja account. I'm going to kill Jokers and try some clue juggling while getting uh, 99 Agility on the main doing rooftops. This is in preparation for Harpy Bug Swarms too because I should be close to 33 Slayer at this stage. Uh, and I can get my melee sets up on the Kramja account before we start juggling clues. 
this will also increase my chance to complete clues because I will be able to get more clues per hour. So after finishing 99 agility and getting higher melee stats on the Karamj account, I am going to actively clue juggle at Harpy Bug Swarms and complete medium clues. Uh, while I do this, I'm going to AFK 99 rune crafting on the main. Uh, this is a this is perfect to combine because the clue juggling requires a lot of focus and the Zaya rune crafting method is like super chill. It's the most AFK thing. It will be really nice to combine these goals. As soon as I hit 99 room crafting, I gained more than a million XP in both mining and crafting and I made enough money to finish smithing and construction. Now construction is nest the next thing I want to do, uh, but before I can start this I need to get a crafting cape for, foss for the fossil island method. This method basically requires a fossil island pendant and a crafting cape and some teak tre trees planted. For the people that don't know this method, in short, you teleport with the pendant to 1.5 tick teak chop. Uh, an inventory of teak logs, you craft cape teleport to the balloon, you take the balloon to the sawmill and you make teak blanks. Uh, you make the mounted mythical capes in the POH and repeat this process. This can be up to 100k construction and 80k woodcutting XP per hour. Uh, and this way I will finish like half of my woodcutting XP at the same time doing construction. So that is amazing. So yeah, I need to do 99 crafting with charter ships, but this will not be too much work since I will most likely be like 96 crafting or higher uh, around 96 crafting so finishing 99 crafting will maybe take a week or so the grind that i'll be doing on my crumbs account heavily depends on a few factors uh, i'm lamping 27 hunter after a 33 slayer and get up to bare hand implings for uh, bare handing xp i made a poll last week and asked the option about the teasing stick and people went crazy. Uh, it was it was just a curious question and no decisions were going to be made from that poll result. Uh, because I'm not a big fan of exceptions. However, I tweeted Mod Ash last week and asked if the teasing stick somehow can be implemented on Kramja. Since the population have no way of catching the beasts, which is interesting. The only way to get a teasing stick is from a hunter store. Um, but yeah, making it a fletchable stick from a lock or a spawn near the pitfall traps was my suggestion. He reacted that it seems reasonable, so we might see that somewhere in the upcoming weeks. It would be amazing. Um, it would legit open up so much content for the next month. And we have to get into that in a whole nother video because it's it's so much to mention. But I can say if this does get implemented, I have a route to maybe obtain the Inferno Cape on the Kramja only ultimate. And that will be the most exciting thing. So, so after finishing crafting, construction and wood cutting, we only have 4 slayer levels left, 8 smithing levels, the prey grind and the mining grind. And I'm trying to get the rest of 99 herblorp uh, passively as possible with the farm runs and coconuts. I like slayer the most and I dislike mining. I will most likely do smithing first uh, and burn through the rest of my money and finish 99 smithing doing uh, gold ores. And I most likely start the prey grind uh, after this. I might get a little bit of prey XP from Slayer. So I might not like directly go for 99. But I will get a good amount of that done. So my plan for prayer is most likely green dragons in the mythical guild. Um, since I have a dragon hunter crossbow and a hasta. It might be a uh, better method if I use the construction cape. I can also use the uh, unsold hats that I get. And I think overall it will be better XP per hour than pest control. If this is close to pest control, I probably end up doing pest control because it's a lot more relaxing. But I, I think green dragons uh, got some potential. So I'm going to test it out in the future as well. Uh, I'll probably release some videos about that. See uh, what the XP rates are with different setups. And if it's viable, I'll most likely be doing that for prayer. Uh, this will leave me with slayer and mining. I can finish Slayer at this point and collect a lot of seeds for 99 Herblore uh, and I can use the seeds while finishing 99 Mining. For Slayer I will most likely do uh, Efficient Slayer for the most XP and do a lot of tasks to give me seeds. Since I'm already 95 Slayer I might even get up to 96 after Hydra. We, um, we don't need that many levels left so. And this leaves me with Mining and I plan on doing 3 tick 4G since it will be my last skill. I think I'll be extra motivated to smash it out. Same with fishing, I start with fishing, it's one of my least favorite skills. I basically 3 ticked all the way to 99 um, and I think I'll be doing the same with mining. So not the most exciting skill to do, but if I finish it for for the last one, I think I'll be I'll be extra motivated. So I keep playing the Kramja card at the same time throughout the wall grind, uh, maxing my main and continue getting high total levels and 
clue score wise on the crimes account as of now uh things might change in the future i really want to get onyx jewelry for example but a, but without a teasing stick it will be it will take at least a year or so to get 60 hunter because that's what i need for uh, oak planks so i have to see what is going to happen I'm still so hyped to play the Kremlin account, so you don't have to worry about uploads being slowed down because of the maxing grind. Uh, because I basically play the accounts at the same time, so I can keep progressing uh, both the accounts at the same time. So yes, this is my route for the maxing. Um, I hope you guys are excited for that. I never imagined I would go for max, but here we are. Uh, I'm going to grind my ass off, and this is the plan. I'm really excited to release the first episode of the series. I will upload this first episode on Monday or Tuesday. Uh, and a new Kramja episode will be out tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Oh, and I plan on streaming this whole grind on Twitch. I will put a link in the description, so if you're into that stuff, feel free to uh, drop a follow. I really like you guys. Subscribe, because you can't miss a grind. Okay, bye now. I'll see you guys tomorrow.